Sup y'all, it's me, it's your boy Asmund Gold, and today I'm going to be showing you guys everything you need to know for getting prepared for pet battles in patch 6.2. Now I know a lot of people aren't really too uh, into pet battles, but uh, if you're into making gold, you might want to pay attention here, because I think there's going to be some good potential for making some money. Now the first thing, obviously, is the changes to your garrison. Uh, garrison looks a little bit different, and um, there's also some new things you can buy. Not from Leo the Lioness, though. Uh, there's a little gnome next to her, obviously, you guys can probably see on the screen here. And she's going to be selling, what is that, seven new items. Now, uh, four of them. I believe are pets and three are toys or vice versa I don't remember exactly but uh, either way you guys can see they're pretty expensive I don't know if they're BOE after you buy them and learn them but um, it's not really too big of a deal because I think that using the stones to upgrade pets to rare quality will uh, be a better uh, better way to spend your pet charms but if you care about collecting the toys and the pets uh, this is definitely something you want to know about I'm pretty sure that these prices will make it to live because it seems like the idea is to uh, kind of create a sink for uh, for these pet charms here now you talk to her and she's got a new little chat bubble and it's like yo guess what there's some new tiny terrors of Tanan jungle and so uh, I'm going to show you guys how that's going to work into this now I was trying to go into the Tanan jungle map but for some reason it messed up anyway so I'm going to show you guys two different uh, pet battles with the uh, the little tiny terrors of Tanan jungle people might ask that their pet uh, their pet tab isn't transferring over to the PTR I want to say this right now uncage all of your pets transfer the character over with the uncaged pets and then learn the pets on the PTR you can only do it with BOE pets but uh, it's better than nothing and uh, that's actually how I tested out all these in this video here uh, fun fact so the first one we're going to look at here is Fellfly and I'm going to come up with a guide for you guys what I want to do and tell you guys what I want to do um, is I'm going to show you guys uh, three pets that can take out all of them and I'll explain something right here so they cast this one ability called Fell Corruption and um, Fell Corruption they cast it like pretty much every three rounds or so and uh, it's not only going to do damage to your entire team but it's also going to empower the other two pets in the back line and make them take 50% less damage and do 50% more damage now I think you guys have seen this quite a few times and uh, I'm just going to use the uh, Chrominius and um, was it uh, Pandora and Water Spirit? And look at that, it's done. It's not even a big deal. I didn't even have to use, um, was it the other thing, the, how, the search, search of Power. And so these things are really not that hard to do. Uh, I, would, I would say um, whenever I first did them and I didn't really think a lot about it, I thought that they were a little bit harder than the Beasts of Fable with um, Pandaria and Patch, I think it was 5.2, but I don't really think that they are at this point. Um, I'm pretty sure, so we'll talk about some uh, some optimum comps right now because while I haven't decided entirely what the optimum comps are going to be, I think I've kind of got an idea. Now, I just let that, I, I, that was really stupid for me to have done that, right? Uh, but I did, and anyway, so you can probably do almost all these with two pets, and uh, maybe one or two might take three. So um, obviously Chrominius is going to be really good. Uh, Pander and Water Spirit is going to be really good. Another one that's going to be really good that I heard uh, talked about is the um, Zandalari Ankle Biter. And the reason for that is uh, he has a lot of um, multi, uh, multi strike attacks like the. Um, what do you call it? Because like, you can put like the uh, Black Claw, which increases damage, then the Hunting Party, and it does a ton of damage. And it can almost one-shot uh, a lot of these, uh, or like one-to-one, -one, a pet one-to-one, -one, uh, on a lot of these, uh, um, I guess, like uh, legendary, because they are legendary pets here. And so you get this uh, bag of uh, fell pet supplies. Now it can contain, uh, it obviously is going to contain gold and, um, and pet charms, but on top of that, it's going to contain four pets. And uh, this is the gold-making part, because uh, you want to make sure that you can do these every day uh, with your characters. Now, um, uh, one one of the pets, or one of the pets is going to be, uh, I'm trying to remember what they are. Uh, one of them is just going to be a lamp. I'm not even kidding you. Two of them are going to be spores, and so, oh my god, how amazing. And the third one is going to be a baby river beast, okay? And so the pets are not really all that aesthetically pleasing, but uh, they might be pleasing if you're trying to make some money. Now, the next one, the last one I'm going to show you guys, because I'm not really going to make this video too long. I just got to tell you guys what's going on. Now, uh, on top of, uh, you know, having these three pets, and again, uh, my... Probably the team that I'm going to be using is Pandaren Water Spirit, Chrominius, and uh, the Zangalari Ankle Biter. I might also swap out the um, Pandaren Water Spirit for, um, or no, probably Chrominius for uh, the Anubiseth Idol, but I'll have that in a, in a video later on. Another thing is another four pets are being added in patch 6.2. Uh, two of them are going to be, uh, one's going to be a rare spawn. It's going to be like the uh, the spawn, uh, no, the um, unborn Valkyrie, the unborn Valkyrie. And so it's only going to be able to spawn in one spot, and it's like really hard to find. Uh, one of them is going to be in Spires of Arak, and one of them is going to be in Talador. Now on top of that, you have the Cinder Puppy, or no, the Fell Cinder Puppy. And you guys saw that in a video uh, that I showed you guys before. Uh, maybe if you caught it, maybe you didn't. Uh, it's going to be really easy to find because it's just a quest and you'll be able to see it. And um, on top of that, they have the new pet that actually is going to drop from, I think it's a Fell Priest Ishtar or something like that. I'm not entirely sure his name. And uh, he's a boss in, um, 
Hellfire Citadel. And so that's pretty much what you guys need to know. And again, uh, each one of these pets, you can do it once a day, and there's 15 of them in the zone. On top of doing the 15 of them, um, you can get an achievement for killing all 15 of them. Some of them are a little bit harder than others, but I think with uh, probably a total of like five pets, you're going to be for sure uh, good to go with all these. And um, probably with even less than that. And so I've been working on some uh, some teams for you guys, and I've been like, little. I haven't really wanted to do too much of that because I don't want them to change it halfway through, you know, and then like my video is, is wrong before the patch even comes out. But uh, we'll see what's going to happen with that. I want to kind of give you guys a heads up uh, what to do, what to be ready for. Save up your pet charms if that's what you're trying to do. Uh, if it's not, hey, you know, there's a lot of people who are not into pet battles. But for the people who are, you know, this is what you need to know. And for the people who are into making money, make sure that you have these, uh, you know, if you want. This this is how you want to make money. This is probably going to be a really good way to make money getting those four pets out of the uh, Felt Touch satchels at the beginning of uh, patch 6.2 in the uh, tiny terrors of Tandem Jungle. So, guys, that's pretty much all I've got. Hope you enjoyed. And, um, yeah, that's actually pretty much all I have to say. So, thanks for watching. And like, comment, subscribe.